There we go. Well, good afternoon. I would love to welcome you to our 2020-2021 eighth grade awards program. Woo, yeah. And I've got to be honest, doesn't it feel really good to have accomplished and gotten through this year? Yeah. And while it's been a challenging year, today you're going to see there's a lot to be celebrated. There's a lot of good things that have been done during the school year with these incredible, incredible students that we should all be proud of and we should all celebrate and have some joy at the end of a year that has brought challenges. So with that, I'm going to invite one of our students, Luke Matthews, to open us in a word of prayer. We will cherish all the memories and good times you've blessed us with this year. I hope we will learn from the hard challenges we have faced as well and carry that wisdom with us to high school. God, I'm so thankful for the friendships that have been formed and strengthened in eighth grade. I pray the friendships and community we have formed will bear fruit for your kingdom throughout high school. I deeply appreciate the amazing teachers you have called to mentor and lead us. The valuable knowledge they have given us will be stored in our hearts so that it may be a use for your glory when the opportunity arises. We are also so blessed to get to go to a school that gives us the privilege of incredible opportunities to participate in, whether that be athletics, arts, or academics. We've gotten the chance to do the things we love through our school. As we transition into high school, I pray that we will grow into the Christian leaders you have purposed us to be. I pray we will stand out from the rest of this world because of the radiance of your glory shining off of us. Romans 12, 2, a verse that has guided me through this year says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. I also pray that you will surround us with people who love and care about us so that we may form a brotherhood and a sisterhood with other young believers who are passionate about you and will always follow you to the best of their ability. Thank you for these last few moments in this chapter of our lives. And I pray, amen. Amen. Thank you, Luke. At this time, we are going to present the Creative Arts Awards. So I would ask that the Creative Arts teachers make your way to the stage. Hello, my name is Alex Subiera, and I have the privilege of being the junior high and high school choir teacher here at Faith. Uh, so this eighth grade class is special for me in particular because when I got here, uh, they were just starting junior high. So uh, I've gone to see them grow from sixth through eighth grade, and I've gone to teach many of them for three years. So uh, eighth graders, I'm very proud of you. All right, so today I am going to present uh, the choir awards. So. Uh, I will be, uh, this year we have two choir classes uh, that eighth graders can take. There's seventh and eighth grade girls class and the seventh and eighth grade uh, boys class. And uh, both classes have been tremendous this year. They, eighth graders, you all have been such incredible leaders and I'm proud of you. So uh, the seventh and eighth grade, eighth grade girl, uh, this, this, uh, this young lady is uh, respectful, prepared, extremely talented, uh, and she actually uh, competed in the TMEA competition today, uh, this year, and uh, this competition was uh, between many different public school districts in the area, uh, and she got fourth chair, which is huge, uh, and this is Tatum Judd, all right? And for the eighth grade boy uh, who will be receiving the award today, uh, he has shown utmost enthusiasm uh, for choir and leadership in choir. 
Uh, he has auditioned for any solo he can get his hands on, and he has been incredible uh, to have this year. Uh, Bennett Church. I get to go next. Uh, again, I'm Brian Partridge. I'm the drama teacher, so I'm going to be presenting the drama awards. Some of you were able to see our movie that we premiered on Main Street down at Grapevine at the Palace Theater last night. So it has been a joy uh, to work with this class and some of the eighth graders here. I've had you for three years. So our, our girl recipient of this award, I've had her since sixth grade. She's been in sixth grade drama, seventh grade and eighth grade. And she is such a joy to have in class and just always does a great job for me. And that's Ava Roberts. And for our young man that won the award, I think it's not going to come as a surprise for those that saw the movie. He took on a role that was very, very, very intense and had a lot of lines and had a lot of emotions and a lot of things to go through. And he tackled it head first. And he did an incredible job, not just for a junior high student, but for a movie. He did a great job. So our young man who wins the drama award is going to be Michael Page. Good job. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Boyce. I have a couple of awards for bands. The first one, she came to us last year from a, a band program that I was teaching in over there in Carroll and came in, did a fantastic job. We also have TPSMEA all region. It's called Middle School Honor Band. And the first one is Melina Michaelides. So I did have to make a change. I couldn't go with just doing everything as normal. Uh, had an opportunity. There's one other person that I uh, have to recognize. She came into the band program as a beginner in eighth grade. Everyone else had lots of experience and she did such a great job, so respectful. And I have to recognize Jesse Parker. And last but not least, um, this young man is so respectful, really strong in athletics and in arts, uh, does an amazing job. He also made TPSMEA, all region, if you will, on two different instruments, saxophone and clarinet, and that's Caden Annald. Good afternoon, I'm Vicki Guess and teach visual arts. And it's so fun to work with your students every day, the ones I have in art. Uh, I wanted to thank the ones who came to the art show last week. We had such a good turnout and thank you so much for supporting them. The first student who I'm honoring is a young lady who uh, works from the second she gets in class and then I have to push her out the door because she's never quite through and has worked so hard and so diligent and so talented. Ms. Sophia Fisher. Yeah. 
And this young man is one who's new to school this year. Um, he has an amazing talent, and it has been such a pleasure to work with him this year. And this is Mr. Andrew Savage. At this time, I'm going to recognize a few more students. Uh, for the first time, we entered the VASE competition, which is the Visual Arts Scholastic Event. I always have to look at it because I get it confused. On, And this is with the Texas Education Art Association. And this is competing with the uh, public schools. It's a really neat thing. There were probably 80 schools that were in the uh, district that we competed in. And I'm going to be calling up uh, the students who uh, we got threes, uh, a three and some four, a lot of fours, and a few that qualified for a select that is platinum. So I'm um, calling the names: uh, Cosette Dennington, place gold; and I'm going to go ahead and, and call some uh, Sophia Fisher, gold. And Sophia Fisher, gold. And while you're there, Sophia, stay there. <laughs> As Sophia, one of her pieces was also selected for platinum. Okay, Shelby Ann Frank, gold. And Sophia Girolamo, gold. <laughs> Maggie Hunt, gold. Congratulations. <laughs> Cameron Kinney, gold. <laughs> Ella Mahone, gold. Chrissy Saunders, silver. And Andrew again, gold. Abby Sewell, gold. L. Stevenson, gold. Reagan Van Til, gold. And Ashlyn Way, gold. And Reagan also receives platinum for her work. And uh, Anahi Gill uh, could not be with us today. She also receives gold. All right, let's hear it one last time for all of these incredible Creative Arts Awards recipients. And thank you to our incredible Creative Arts teachers. I'm at this time going to invite Mrs. Jordan to come forward to recognize our student council. Good afternoon, guys. My name is Marcia Jordan, and I have the privilege of being one of the student council sponsors um, for our junior high. Um, before I get completely started, if I can have Ms. Gentilly and Ms. Goforth come and get these pins for me, y'all help hand these out for me, I would appreciate it. All right, students, before I start bragging on you, I'm gonna call the list. And audience, please hold your applause until I get through the whole list. But when I call you, I want you to stand right where you're at and you'll be receiving a student council pin. 
for um, being such amazing leaders this year. So uh, please hold your applause. The first one's Karis Andrews, Caden Anholt, Kate Evans, Sophia Fisher, Emma Ford, Shelby Ann Frank, Peyton Green, Maggie Hunt, Journey Jensen, Cameron Kenny, Chase Cropholler, Samantha Lote, Reagan McNeely, Corinne Milholland, Lainey Perry, Ella Claire Rosenthal, Abby Tos, and Reagan Van Til. So let me just kind of wrap on these. Y'all stand, keep standing. This year's Junior High Student Council is made up of 38 seventh and eighth graders. These students apply in the spring of the previous year they serve. This has been a historic year in many ways for the Junior High Student Council. For the first time ever in the history of Grapevine Faith, we had a drive-by Thanksgiving food basket community outreach. These students seamlessly planned and implemented this outreach to pack over 100 baskets of food for our neighbors in need. It was a tremendous success and I'm so proud of them. Another historic event, which we've never ever done in the 21 years that I've been here, uh, these students were able to plan and implement an Easter egg hunt for our first graders. The student council provided the candy stuffed eggs for a huge egg Easter egg hunt and taught our first graders biblical truths about Jesus Christ using the colors of the Easter egg. Additionally, our student council initiated the recitation of the pledge to the American and the Christian and Bible in our junior high weekly chapels. These kids are awesome servant leaders and I'm proud of how they have served our community, our school, but most importantly, how they have served God. Every single event that they were involved in, they rose to the occasion and showed respect, warmth, enthusiasm, and leadership. Eighth grade student council members, I am so proud of you, and I cannot wait to see what God does with you in high school. Let's give these students a hand. You may be seated now, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Jordan, and thank you, Student Council, for all of your hard work this year. At this time, I'm going to invite Mrs. Tos to come to the stage to recognize our eighth grade speech and debate teams. Good afternoon. It's a privilege to be here, and I'm so excited that I get a chance to uh, give a virtual high five to our eighth grade speech and debate team. My name is Lindsay Tose. I'm the director um, and head coach of the speech and debate team um, program at FAITH. And also my assistant is uh, Laura Reed. So some of our students worked with her in the speech events. We're honored to recognize the students who participated in, in our junior high speech and debate team this year. The foundation of our speech and debate program is taken from Paul's words in Ephesians. Christ's intention is the perfecting and the full equipping of the saints, that they should do the work of ministering toward building up Christ's body. So then we may no longer be like children, tossed like ships to and fro between chance gusts of teaching and wavering with every changing wind of doctrine. Rather, let our lives lovingly express truth in all things, speaking truly, dealing truly, and living truly. Uh, in a culture that often reacts emotionally before seeking to understand, and in a culture that often accepts all social media comments as truth, we endeavor to learn how to think critically, seek truth, and speak well, so that we're no longer like children tossed to and fro with chance gusts of teaching, so that our lives lovingly express truth in all things. The structure of our speech and debate program starts in the junior high, and if these students enjoy building speech and debate skills and competing, they have a solid foundation for our high school team. 
The high school team assists Mrs. Reed and I in coaching our junior high team. And we firmly believe that our solid junior high program has contributed largely to the successes of our team on the high school level. In fact, this year, former junior high team member Olivia Harriger and Isaac Phillips won state championships and qualified for nationals as sophomores. The high school team finished state champions in both speech and debate. And I firmly believe that I'm looking at future state speech and debate champions sitting in our audience today. It's been a privilege to work with these talented young men and women. 34 students joined our junior high speech and, and debate team this year. So I'm so excited to read the names of our eighth graders. Students, when I read your name, will you stand and then audience just save your applause until we're finished, please. Bobby Clark. Sophia Fisher. Bo Hyman. Jack Huska, Aubrey Medlin, Jesse Parker, Alex Pearson, Andrew Savage, Abby Tose, and Reagan Van Til. And let me also recognize uh, the student winners of our junior high speech and debate tournament, starting with prose and poetry. Second place was Jesse Parker. First place was Aud Aubrey. Aubrey Medlin, and then in duet acting, second place went to Reagan Van Til and Abby Tose, and then in Lincoln Douglas debate, the winners were Bobby Clark and Bo Hyman. Congratulations to all of you. We're proud of you. And I look forward to seeing you on the high school team next year. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Tose. It's now time for us to announce and recognize the honor roll students. So I would like to invite Dr. Hicks, Coach Smeltzer, Mrs. Gentilly, Mrs. Turner to come forward and we're gonna recognize these honor roll students. We will be starting with the AB honor roll. Good afternoon, I'm Coach Smeltzer, and uh, it's my privilege to announce the AB Honor Roll. The AB Honor Roll is defined as making all A's and B's all year in all subjects. The following students earned this distinction. Vivian Anderson, hold your applause to the end, and then students, you may come forward when your name is called. Amelie Archer, Nicholas Blevins, Chase Brown, Ava Burick, John Byler, Corey Chastain, Bennett Church, Braden Cope, Christian Corley, Ella DeFeo, Meredith Gannon, McConnell Gorman, Landon Harlan, Evelyn Hartenstein, Tatum Judd, Chase Kropholler, Samantha Lope, Ella Mahone, Jack McDonald, Mia McIntosh, Corinne Milholland, Sienna Murphy, Jake Nicholson, Alexandria Pearson, Lainey Perry, Colt Rangel, Cooper Richardson, Ava Roberts, Hannah Turner, last but not least, Reagan Van Til. Congratulations to these honor roll students. We'll pause for a picture.
Hello, I am Lisa Gentili and I teach algebra and pre-algebra. It is my honor to announce the A honor roll. The A honor roll is all A's in every subject all year. The following students have earned this distinction. Karis Andrews. Price Andrews. Caden Anholt, Ethan Barker, Bobby Clark, Cosette Dennington, Sophia Fisher, Emma Ford, Jake Ford, Shelby Ann Frank, Sophia Geralmo, Peyton Green, Bo Hyman, Jack Huska, Journey Jensen. Kay Johnson, Cameron Kenny, Luke Matthews, Aubrey Medlin, Melina Michaelides, Jesse Parker. Ella Claire Rosenthal, Chrissy Saunders, Abby Grace Sewell, Connor Walsh, and Ashlyn Way. Congratulations, students, for achieving this distinction. Good afternoon, my name is Callie Turner, and I get the honor of announcing the Homeschool Academic Awards. The following eighth grade homeschool students have earned academic recognition for the 2020-2021 school year for making all A's in certain core subjects all year. Valor Dare for English. Here. Okay, Landry Smith for BCIS, Free Algebra and World Geography. We are also thankful for the following student who joined our school after the second quarter and maintained a 90 average in certain core subjects. Kendall Reynolds for Algebra, Bible, Science, English, World Geography, and BCIS. Congratulations.
Congratulations to all of our honor roll students. At this time, we will be presenting our high point award. So I'm going to ask that all of the teachers who will be presenting these awards. Go ahead and make your way to the stage. The high point award is given to one student in each core class who has the highest numerical average. Coach Smeltzer is going to begin with the Bible high point award. For the Bible High Point Award for the eighth grade class this year, Miss Karis Andrews. The High Point Spanish Award goes to Aubrey Medlin. Hi, I'm Lana Jackson. I'm the English eighth grade teacher, but I'm stepping in for Mr. Mason for science to announce the science high point award goes to Luke Matthews. I'd also like to announce the high point award for English goes to Karis Andrews. Hi, I'm Kimberly Goforth, and I am the eighth grade world geo teacher, geography, sorry. Um, <laughs> I just, just to, I want to remind you that this high point is um, especially special because we are a high school class, and they receive high school credit for this, so it is a tough class. The high point for world geography is Cosette Dennington. <laughs> Hello, I'm Colin Rowe, and I'm the BCIS teacher here for the eighth graders to present the High Point Award to Karis Andrews. And then I would also like to recognize the fastest typer amongst the eighth grade students. We got to do a lot of five minute typing tests over stinging insects, and they know who it is. So would Christian Corley come on up here? I, it is my honor to give this high point algebra award to Price Andrews. And my pre-algebra award, it is, it is with great honor I give this to her. Her name is Sophia Girolamo. <laughs> Let's hear it one more time for all of our High Point Award winners. Thank you to our core teachers and all the work you've put in this year. At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Hicks to present the top 10 grade point average winners in this class. The top 10 GPA award recognizes 10 students who have achieved the overall highest grade point averages in the core classes. The list will be read in alphabetical order and does not indicate their numerical standings within the class. Students, please come forward when I call your name and let's hold the applause to the very end for all. Karis Andrews. Price Andrews, Caden Anholt, Bobby Clark, Cosette Dennington, 
Shelby Ann Frank. Sophia Girolamo. Journey Jensen. Luke Matthews. And Abby Grace Sewell. Congratulations, students. Have a moment for pictures. And let's hear it for our top 10 GPA winners. At this time, I would like to invite Coach Sean Mingledorf, our junior high athletic director, to present our Lions Sportsmanship Awards. Good afternoon, I'm Sean Mingledorf. I'm the Junior High Athletic Director, um, and I have the privilege of presenting this award. Uh, the Lions Sportsmanship Award is given to the athlete who best exemplifies the attributes of character, integrity, and sportsmanship. In choosing students for this award, the following characteristics were considered. Team focus. Uh, this athlete should be unselfish and committed to the team over individual performance. He or she should be willing to help out in any way that benefits the team and its members. Attitude. This athlete should have a positive attitude even when losing. Role model. The athlete should be a positive role model for all athletes. Sportsmanship. This athlete should display good sportsmanship and respect to officials and opposing teams even in the face of adverse outcomes. Likewise, the athlete should demonstrate cooperation and respect in dealing with his or her coaches and teammates. Integrity. This athlete should be committed to doing what's right. This award exemplifies what Grapevine Faith Christian stands for. And our award winners are Sophia Girolamo. And Cade Johnson. Thank you, Coach Mingledorf, and congratulations to our students. At this time, I would like to invite Mrs. Turner to present the Colossians 323 Award. I have the privilege of um, announcing the Colossians 323 Award to a very special student. Um, as most of you know, Colossians 323 is one of those verses that's very familiar to all of us. It says, whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. As teachers and administrators, we have chosen to give an award to one student in the eighth grade whose most exemplifies this work ethic and attitude. This student is diligent, striving to do her personal best. She has easily been the most determined and hardest working student. She is also passionate about following instructions and doing everything just right. She's engaged in class by listening well and participating in discussions. She is one who always has a smile on her face. To her teachers, this young lady is a pleasure to teach. She wants to learn, to work heartily, and to do so with a cheerful heart, which is why we have chosen Samantha Loft to receive this year's Colossians 323 Award. Congratulations, Samantha. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Turner, and congratulations, Samantha. It is now time for the Bible Character Awards, so I'm going to invite the teachers who are presenting these awards to come forward. The Bible Character Awards are based on the DISC personality profile, 
and are nominated by their teachers. Each of the junior high students have taken a form of the DISC personality test. And even though we know the results may change from year to year, the heart of the award is to celebrate all of the unique, unique ways that God made us. We have matched personalities in the Bible that represent each personality category. A teacher with the corresponding personality type will present the award and Mrs. Jackson will start us off. I'm decisive, determined, direct, and driven. I'm a D personality. This morning, I will present the Deborah and Elijah Awards to two individuals representative of this personality. First, the Elijah. Faithful and uncompromising, in his faith, Elijah boldly proclaimed truth and bravely persevered as a prayer warrior. Though through his bold actions, he was attentive to the still small voice of the Lord and compassionate to those around him, prodding others to follow God. The eighth grade Elijah Award goes to Chase Crawfaller. <laughs> Next, the Deborah Award. Confident because of her reliance on God, Deborah possessed strong convictions exhibited by her direct, honest, and decisive conversations, which inspired others to choose faith in God. The eighth grade Deborah Award goes to Cosette Dennington. <laughs> I am spirited, spontaneous, and sociable. All the qualities of the I personality. Everyone said, did you read your speech? I was like, no, I'm an I. I'm going to wing it. What do you mean? Um, today, I'll honor this personality in the character of Peter and Abigail. First, the Peter Award. Eager, excited, and spontaneous. Peter both spoke and acted quickly, whether in repentance or proclaiming his faith. He boldly led others to pursue Christ in word and deed. This year's I Award goes to Journey Jensen. <laughs> Next, the Abigail Award. With wisdom and decision, decisive action, Abigail employed social skills and understanding to diffuse difficult situations. As an outstanding communicator and leader, her influence motivated others to righteous behavior. This year's Abigail Award goes to Cameron Kenny. I am steady consistent, patient, and diplomatic. The S personality can be seen in the biblical characters of Abraham and Hannah. First, the Abraham Award. Called the friend of God, Abraham demonstrated hospitality, a fierce loyalty to his family, and a bold faith in God. His compassion and concern for others led to being a prayer warrior on behalf of others, as well as a peacemaker. The Abraham Award goes to Lane Cunningham. Next, the Hannah Award. Faithful and a model example of godliness, Hannah persevered through difficulties, exercising tremendous self-control, though provoked and finding victory with an unwavering faith in God. This year's Hannah Award goes to Shelby Ann Frank. Now the C award, I am calculating, cautious, and conscientious. I am a C personality, and it's my honor and privilege 
to present the awards to the C personality group this afternoon. The C personality type can be seen in the Bible characters of Moses and Esther. I'll start with Moses. Cautious, analytical, and careful, Moses, an introvert, answered God's calling. By faith, he found courage to lead and a boldness to do just as the Lord commanded. The eighth grade Moses Award goes to Jack Huska. Lastly, the Esther Award. As a patient, discerning, and wise planner, Esther called on the Lord to guide her in saving her people. Exercising boldness and courage, she bravely put the needs of her people before herself. The eighth grade Esther Award goes to Abby Grace Sewell. Thank you, teachers, and congratulations to all of our Bible Character Award winners. And now it is time for the Lion Heart Award. So I will invite Dr. Hicks to come up, who he will present the award. The Lionheart Award is given to one young man and one young lady in each grade who demonstrate the qualities of an authentic Christian leader. Selected by both their classmates and teachers, the recipients consistently demonstrate the characteristics of servant leadership, humility, integrity, and reliance on God. These students live out their faith as the hands and feet of Jesus to their teachers, their classmates, their family, and others. The eighth grade girl Lionheart Award goes to Sophia Fisher. And the eighth grade boy Lionheart Award goes to Cade Johnson. Congratulations, Sophia and Cade. Congratulations, eighth grade students on a successful year despite all the challenges that we dealt with along the way. I want you to know that I am proud of you, and there is no doubt in my mind that when you put God first, you're going to see and experience God's presence and the calling that he has for each of you. As you continue in your years, you will see amazing things and God working in your life. However, life can also hand you heartache and challenges. And before you leave here today and wrap up another, another year, a question I must ask you is, how big is your God? Scripture de describes God as being big and mighty, and there is nothing he cannot do. Can you remember that familiar song? My God is so big, so strong. Parents, all right, y'all remember it? I still hear it in my head and that scripture rings in my mind when I hear it. However, there are many cultural beliefs and trends that are fighting for your allegiance 
and want you to believe otherwise. When people are on a happiness quest rather than a truth quest, it is easy for people to neglect, ignore, or even despise Scripture and its healthy boundaries that it places to protect you. In the midst of it all, when you see beliefs and trends that contradict the Word of God, will you alter Scripture to align with your beliefs, or will you alter your beliefs to align with Scripture? Students, we are called to align our beliefs with Scripture. How big is your God? If your God agrees with everything you want to do or everything that you want, your God is too small. If you blame God for anything bad in your life or around you, your God is too small. If you feel you have nothing to learn and Bible is old and not relevant, your God is too small. If you settle for a different set of morals or look to friends and culture rather than scripture, your God is too small. The late apologist, Dr. Norm Geisler once said, the will of God never contradicts the word of God. How do we stay solid and keep from being tossed around back and forth by the culture? We must pursue Christ regularly. This is not easy, and how, with how busy we can become and all that we're involved in, it creates some challenges. What should be our goal? Our goal should be to grow closer to God. But how do we do this with everything going on today and all that is available to, uh, uh, to tempt us and derail us from God's best plan? Psalm 119.9 reminds us, how can a young person stay on the path of purity by living according to your word. Again, how big is your God? Do you trust that spending time with him will guide you, protect, and grow you? That this is the plan for your life? God has a plan for you, and it includes you making a difference for him. If you will focus on walking with God every day and being obedient, he will do something special in your life. Don't look at what your friends are doing or compare. You walk with God and allow him to guide you. Hebrews 11.6 says, God rewards those that earnestly seek him. You will have trials and you will have challenges. Keep your eyes on him. You may be the only one at time that desire God's will in your life. Keep your eyes on him. There may be days or seasons that you are the only one going in a godly direction. Keep your eyes on him. Again, how big is your God? If I were to issue a challenge today, it would be get your joy from knowing you pleased God and not others. Which is more important to you, that God pleases you? Maybe it's with good health or money or safety, friends, or maybe good food, or you pleasing God. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. Even when God doesn't answer your prayer the way you want or things don't go the way you want, you have the satisfaction of pleasing him. The enemy wants to discourage you. If you want to have the testimony that you pleased God, don't listen to the devil. And no matter what, you seek God and stay strong. Discover God for yourself. Students, this may be the last time I have the privilege of sharing a word with you as a group. Do you fully know today that if you were to die and stand before God, that you would go to heaven. Think about a piece of paper and a pencil. If God asked you, why should I let you in? What would you write on that piece of paper? What would you say to God? Take a moment and think about this. Remember, you will stand alone. Friends can't help or whisper you the answer. Some may say, because I lived a good life, or because I went to a Christian school, 
Or maybe someone would say, I was baptized or I've done my very best. I'm a good person. And all of these answers are good, but they don't suffice. There is only one answer. On that piece of paper, there is only one right answer. And there isn't partial credit. The answer is because Jesus died for me. We all have to admit, Jesus, I need you. I'm a sinner. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Students, how big is your God? Many people think we can earn our way into heaven. It is not about what we have done, but it's all about what he has done. It is not about the church we go to, the school we go to, or how good we are. It's about Jesus. If we ask him for forgiveness of our sins, he grants us salvation and he will answer our prayer and give us eternal life. If you are not sure what you would write on that piece of paper right now, or you haven't truly committed your life to Christ, please let someone know today. I am confident there are many people in this room, parents, teachers, coaches, and a principal that would love the opportunity to pray with you. Students, I truly want the best for you, and I love you today. As you continue life, remember I and all of these teachers, we are always here for you, even when junior high is behind you. We will still be here with arms open, ears to listen, and words to encourage. Again, how big is your God? Eighth grade students, thank you for a great eighth grade school year. It is now time to pr for the presentation of the Academic Achievement and Advancement Certificates. The AAA certificates verify that each student has completed the coursework and curriculum requirements for the eighth grade. Class of 2025, please stand and come forward to receive your Certificate of Academic Achievement and Advancement. Vivian Anderson, Karis Andrews, Price Andrews, Caden Anholt, Amelie Archer, Ethan Barker, Shyla Besh, Nicholas Blevins, Lindsey Ann Boyd, Chase Brown, Ava Burke, John Byler, Corey Chasteen, Bennett Church, Bobby Clark, Braden Cope, Christian Corley, Lincoln Cox, Lane Cunningham, Valor Dare, Ella DeFeo, Nate Demarest, Cosette Dennington, Luke Elliott, Kate Evans, Sophia Fisher, Emma Ford, Jake Ford, Shelby Ann Frank, Meredith Gannon, Anae Gill, Aiden Gurgis, Sophia Girolamo, McConnell Gorman, Peyton Green, Landon Harlan, Bo Hyman, Spencer Himberger, Evelyn Hertenstein, Maggie Hunt, Jack Huska, Journey Jensen, Cade Johnson, Tatum Judd, Cameron Kinney, Chase Cropholler, Samantha Loft, Ella Mahone, 
Luke Matthews, Jack McDonald, Mia McIntosh, Reagan McNeely, Aubrey Medlin, Melina Michaelides, Corinne Milholland, Sienna Murphy, Jake Nicholson, Owen Osteen, Michael Page, Jesse Parker, Alexandria Pearson, Lainey Perry, Colt Wrangle, Kendall Reynolds, Cooper Richardson, Ava Roberts, Ella Claire Rosenthal, Matthew Rotella, Lily Rubel, Chrissy Saunders, Andrew Savage, Abby Grace Sewell, Landry Smith, L. Stevenson, Abby Tose, Hannah Turner, Reagan Van Til, Connor Walsh, Ashlyn Way, and Lily Wirt. That concludes our award ceremony. Parents, I want to thank you. Guests, family, grandparents, friends, thank you for joining us today. I want to take just a quick moment. How many of y'all watched the uh, movie last night? Yes. Can we give it up to our drama class and Mr. Partridge? Great job there. I know Mr. Partridge has some very late nights, so if you talk to him after the ceremony and he doesn't make sense, it's okay. Just give him a couple days to rest and it'll be all good. I also want to thank Mrs. Jordan for helping us orchestrate this event. And also behind the scenes and never wants any credit at all, but keeps all kinds of plates spinning, Mrs. Branch in our junior high office. Thank you for that. Also, as you can imagine, this year has been a really challenging year across the country for teachers. And if you've read research, you've read anything, when you take just normal class, which can be challenging already, and you add all the technology and the hybrid and all these other things that we're juggling on top of what has already been there, our teachers have been through a lot and they have shined and they have succeeded and they have finished strong. So I really appreciate our teachers as well. Thank you all. Parents, will you stand with me? Let's pray over these eighth graders and then we will head out. Let's pray. Eighth graders, we're going to pray over you and thank you again for a wonderful year. Father, we just thank you for this time. We thank you for the opportunity to come and celebrate these students. Lord, we thank you for creating them in your image and that you have called each and every one of them to something special in life. God, I pray that you'll continue to draw them to you, that it will be important to them to please you and to pursue you. God, remind them that when challenges come, and it's not if, it's when, that they will remember that their God is big. He is strong and he's mighty and there's nothing he cannot do. Even bring the song to their mind if necessary. God, I pray that you'll just be with their next steps, their next years, and, and just use them and guide them and direct them. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you all for coming. Okay, excuse me. Eighth graders, we're going to get, if you would come to the stage, we're going to take a group picture. So... Come on up here, and then parents, y'all can get a group shot of the whole class. Man, your mic is really loud. 
I wasn't on it. Come up I was standing face. back about a foot oh, from it. So you can't lean into it. You were supposed to announce that.